In this session, we're going to learn about creating a Picasso-style portrait. During the PowerPoint, we learned about cubism, and we learned about uh, breaking up of planes and looking at the world from different perspectives. So here's kind of a basic example of what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to draw something similar to this. Um, however, you're going to you know, use your artistic choice to change different parts, make parts bigger, twisted differently. Um, depending on your own perspective and your own desires. So here's our basic idea. Okay, um, <clears throat> you're going to start with a piece of paper uh, like this. It's going to be a um, 80 pound piece of paper. Please put your name on it clearly on the back side. Okay, Mr. Lundgren. And let's say I'm doing five Monseth. Okay, flip your paper over so you have your name nicely written on the back along with your section. And you're going to start with kind of the head. Okay, we're going to, obviously it's a portrait, so we're going to hold our paper portrait style, not, not horizontal like landscape, but portrait style. And we're going to do um, just kind of a head. Okay, kind of an ovally shape. Since you guys did portraits probably in third grade, you remember how we did the head and we lined things up like this and we drew our eyes in and everything in the you know the correct spot the quote unquote correct spot um, now we're going to be kind of using Picasso's method of um, you know looking at the world from different perspectives so we're just kind of going for a general idea of the shape if you want to change the shape a little bit um, that's okay but we're going to have one side of the head being you know there's the whole thing being one thing and then we're going to draw the halfway mark so what he would often do is he would look from the you know profile or the side perspective and he would create the forehead and right around where he wanted the eyes he would create an indentation and then go out for the nose and around and then he would kind of curve down for the lips and do the chin so he would create a profile kind of centrally in the middle of the face, sort of like that. So do something like that on your paper. Okay, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but something in the same general idea. Okay, and now we've got the head and we've got the profile view. Um, then let's put the eyes on. Typically he would have this eye, you know, the one that's kind of facing out in front, um, looking kind of straight out at us. So as you learned in, um, in third grade, the eye has three planes on the top and kind of two on the bottom. If you want to make yours more stylized, since this is cubism after all, and it's kind of a Picasso style portrait, and you did some crazy things, um, you can. I'm going to kind of choose to make mine rounded on that side like this. And I'm going to put the eyeball in, which is a nice circle. I'm just going to indicate where the pupil is going to be right there. I'm going to take the eyelid here and I'm going to draw a kind of crazy shape for the eyebrow. All right. Now I'm going to do this one. Now he typically would do something different with this eye. You could draw it straight on because that might be interesting. You could draw it like as a profile looking sideways. I'm going to twist mine so that it's kind of going straight up and down. And instead of drawing differently, I'm going to actually turn my paper like this and kind of pretend that this is um, the eye right here. And I'm going to notice I'm going to keep it kind of on the same line, but I'm going to twist it this way, okay, so that the eye is kind of turned. And I'm going to put the eyebrow like right here, okay. So it's like that. And then I'm going to turn my paper back so I've kind of got it back to the correct way of looking. Now we're going to take a, a moment and put some kind of like some ears on. Now normally this ear would be kind of tilted to the side and we wouldn't see it so much. This ear would be turned towards us. Um, and I'm just going to change that around. I'm going to actually take this one and I'm going to turn it towards us more. I'm going to start making my picture a little more angular rather than rounded. And I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to do a little a curve right here. He would typically, uh, a lot of his pictures didn't even really have ears in them, depending on, depending on the portrait and the style. Now I'm just going to kind of clean up my 
um, my chin area here. I'm just going to start from this ear and I'm going to kind of angle it down in. Okay, then I'm going to kind of start from this ear and kind of angle it down in. So we've got more of a like kind of chin and it's not so round, ovally shaped, but it's more kind of chin like shaped. Now, um, if you want to put hair on, you could. Um, a lot of the women hairs, you would kind of curve them around one way and then maybe curve them down over this way. I'm actually going to put a hat on mine just for fun. If you want to put a hat on or something or put something else on, that's great. If not, leave it off. Um, I'm going to put the hat kind of right here and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn this side. Now knowing what you know of your perspective from your drawing, I'm going to take this one, kind of angle it right across and I'm going to put the top of the hat up here. Okay, and then I'm going to start this line down around that way. So, so we're kind of looking at the hat this way, sideways this way, and then I'm going to turn it kind of to the front that way. So he's got this kind of cockeyed hat on, almost like, you know, if this was just a rounded, you know, straw hat, let's say, um, it's kind of looking at it from two different angles. All right, so we've got our ears, we've got our hat, we got something else in there. If you want to put some hair on, I'm going to actually just draw some lines like right here. And I'm going to draw kind of from the forehead down and put a little hair in there. Um, now we're going to kind of do the neck and the body situation. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn his shoulder. I'm going to put his shoulder like right here and put his from his uh, the back of his neck down to his shoulder here. And then I'm going to turn his neck straight coming right at us with his little Adam's apple here and the V of his shirt kind of right there. You can choose to do different shapes or different styles or whatever you want. But then I'm going to, instead of, you know, his shoulders turn straight towards us, I'm going to turn his other arm just right around this way. So we're kind of looking, you know, at the front of his shoulder here and this way we're seeing the profile. So we're kind of twisting again um, the the way that we're looking at him. Again, twisting our perspective. Okay, so we have the basic portrait in here. Now I'm just going to kind of go back and erase some of these lines that are uh, overlapped, like his headline that's underneath his hat here. Okay, so I can, you know, make sure I'm making the lines that I want to make. Now, this is kind of the basic portrait. Whatever you want to do, you can change the sizes, change the twisting, change the profile, change the different kinds of things. We're going to stop this session and we're going to start the next session with kind of the background and the other stuff to do. So that is the end of our Picasso style portrait part one.